What's up fitness friends, Coach Andres here from the Strength Cave, back with another video. Today I wanna to discuss gaining muscle while doing cardio. Is it possible? So for years, Bro Logic has stated that you shouldn't be doing any cardio if you're trying to gain muscle because it effectively kills your gains. And if you look in exercise science textbooks, it does seem to point to an interference effect where cardio blocks the muscle building process. But in practice, we see tons of people who build impressive muscular physiques even though they do cardio, whether it be sprinters, football players, or even you know professional crossfitters, all these people perform a lot of cardio on a day-to-day -day basis but still have muscular physiques. So how can all of these people be building such muscular physiques despite the fact that cardio seems to have this blunting effect on the muscle building pathway? Well, in reality, the science on this subject isn't so black and white. Cardio doesn't always kill your gains. In fact, there may be some conditions in which cardio can actually help you make gains. So let's look at a few of the factors at play that determine how cardio influences your ability to build muscle. The first thing we need to look at is volume. So how much cardio you're actually performing on a day-to-day -day or a week-to-week -week basis. Doing too much cardio can affect your gains negatively in a few different ways. Number one, you could be tiring yourself out too much by doing a bunch of cardio, which then negatively affects your ability to have a good resistance training session. Number two, you're burning an excessive amount of calories by doing too much cardio, which then doesn't leave enough energy for you to build muscle. And number three, you may be doing just too much exercise in general, which eventually leads to some sort of overtraining or injury. So we definitely don't want to overdo it when it comes to cardio, but where is the limit? A good place to start would be to limit yourself to about two to three sessions per week and 20 to 30 minutes per session, and then adjusting from there based on how you respond. The intensity of your cardio or how hard you're exerting yourself during the cardio should also be taken into account. There have been studies that have shown that high intensity interval training can lead to an increase in muscle size, especially in the legs. However, those results aren't really that surprising because the subjects that were in that study were untrained subjects. We know that untrained people will basically build muscle from just about any new exercise, cardio included. For trained people who also resistance train, doing a bunch of HIT may be too taxing on the body, which would then lead to sort of overtraining and an inability to recover from session to session. Instead, it may be better to use lighter intensities, more steady state cardio, um, and the research has shown that those lower intensities tend to perform better in well-trained subjects when it comes to building muscle and strength. The next thing you should consider is when you do your cardio or when your cardio takes place relative to your strength training sessions. Ideally, for muscle growth, you would want to separate these sessions either on separate days or as far apart in your day as possible. However, this isn't always possible for everybody in their busy schedules, so if you have to perform them on the same day, you should at least do your cardio after you strength train. Research has shown that performing strenuous cardio before you lift weights can decrease your strength and decrease the amount of volume that you can complete within your workout. And the last thing you should consider when it comes to your cardio is the type of cardio that you're performing. Studies have shown that running has a far greater negative impact on your strength and muscle building capability. One reason for this might be that running involves a lot of eccentric muscle action, which can leave the muscle really damaged and sore. Cycling, the elliptical, the air bike, and rowing have a far lesser eccentric component, and so those might be better options for you if gaining muscle is your highest priority. So now that I told you how to set up your cardio to have the least negative impact on your gains, let me tell you how cardio can actually benefit you as far as muscle building is concerned. Number one, cardio has been shown to temporarily relieve muscle soreness. If you're feeling super sore, a little bit of cardio will help you to have a more effective workout. Number two, cardio improves your aerobic capacity, which allows you to recover better between sets and between reps. This can help you to handle more training volume within each session, which would help you to gain more muscle in the long run. And number three, cardio can help to improve insulin sensitivity, 
which helps you to shuttle more of the nutrients you need into the muscle building process. So cardio and muscle gain do not have to be sworn enemies. Make sure that you're following the guidelines that I laid out in this video so that you can enjoy your cardio and still make gains in the gym. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Follow me on Instagram. Every Wednesday, I come out with a new one of these videos. So if you're subscribed, you'll be the first to know about those. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.